Hey you, what is up? In this video, I wanna share something very amazing with you. Um, I also thought it was really funny. It was actually a comment that first I read it and it got me a little tilted. Then I read it more and then it just started making me laugh. And uh, this video is really gonna be about why having patience will kill you and your dreams and leave you in a life of mediocrity at times and will might even kill your programming career or the very best take you a, a very long time to actually even have one career, all right? So, okay, so without any further ado, let's jump right into it. So this is the comment, okay, I'm gonna read it to you. So this guy, his name is Tanner Barcelos. He commented on my recent video called, how long does it take to be a software developer? And uh, basically, oh, and by the way, before I continue, this is day 10 of my video challenge where I'm doing one video a day. So if you wanna follow me on this challenge and instead of you doing a video like I'm doing, you can make yourself disciplined and structured to do coding. Lots of people are following along. I'll put some of those people up here and they're put, uh, talking to me on Instagram. So if you wanna follow me on this channel and keep yourself accountable as well, follow me on Clever Kazi, my Instagram, and then you can tag me in your stories and I'll give you a shout out. Okay, so here's how the comment goes. The comment by Tanner Barcelos on uh, that video goes, it'll take a day or two to learn the fundamentals of a language syntactically. YouTube tutorials like the new Boston, coding dojo, etc. But it takes years, a whole career to master. There's no way you build a 10,000 line C++ program and sell it for $50 million tomorrow. Um, off of two days of learning coding, LOL. This is what makes me feel better about my current coding abilities. And then he goes, I'm in school learning, going to be starting side projects soon, and I know so much, but that so much is only a tiny percent of the whole 99% I don't know in C++ for this class's case. Make me write a hello world program. Make me write a 100 line calculator app. I'll do it, but make me write a 500 line program using searching and sorting algorithms, nah. Haven't taken those courses yet, I can't do it, and that's the beauty, learning through time. And you know what I say to that? Fuck that bullshit, okay? That's what's keeping a lot of you in the exact place where you are, where you can't get a job, where you can't get the results you want, where you can't get things fast enough. That was my life for a very, very long time. So this kind of patience is what's keeping a lot of the people in the same place where they are for a very long time, especially when it comes to programming, especially when it gets, comes to getting a freelance job or even building something. These are self-imposed limitations. And the reason why they make me so angry is because that's exactly where I used to be and where I was. I would have so many limitations on myself, I still do, but I was able to ch change a lot of things, okay? When it came to workout, I was able to get results pretty fast because I didn't believe in that realistic patience mindset after a certain point. Same thing when it came to coding, same thing when it came to boxing, chess, whatever have you. So this person, I truly understand where he's coming from. He's trying to appreciate the power of patience. He's in it for the long haul and that's great. But to say, make me write a 100 line program, I'll do it. Make me write a 500 line program, nah, I gotta take courses for that, okay? What he's doing, he's being a little bitch, all right? Sometimes I'll get in your face like this, so, you know, if you can't watch it, just quit out of the video and watch somebody else's fake bullshit video, okay? But I'm gonna get very real with you here on this channel. If you have that attitude, you're not gonna be able to do anything in life, because you're gonna be waiting for a handout. These are the same people who try to get, who wait for a handout for the world to come to them to give them a chance. Why can't you write a 500 line program? This is the same reason why it's really difficult for people to do anything, okay? So if you put this limitation on yourself that you gotta be certain good or you have to have a certain amount of courses to write a 500 line program, you're never gonna be able to write a 500 line program, okay? For example, even I don't know so many sorting algorithms. Dude, I used to learn this shit in college. I don't remember any of these sorting algorithms. I don't know any data science or machine learning algorithms, but you know what I do know? I know that somebody else out there knows the answer. So if I'm building a project and I'm building something and it needs a sorting algorithm, guess what? I'll stack overflow it, I'll Google it, I'll look for the answer, I'll ask for the answer. When I need to learn a sorting algorithm, I'll go learn that specific sorting algorithm, come back and apply it into my program. 
But to wait to learn this stuff before you ever start anything, that's what will keep you from creating any projects, that's what will keep you from having stuff on your resume, that's what will keep you from applying to a job because you're waiting for something to get you ready. You're waiting for a college course to give you a certification. You're waiting to get a degree, a piece of paper, so you can apply somewhere and make a name for yourself. It's all bullshit, man. It's all bullshit, okay? I didn't know anything, I was a nobody. I didn't wait, I just started making videos. I started documenting my own journey. Look at my older videos. I didn't even know how to fucking make a video that fits on a normal screen on YouTube. I made videos that fit like half-ass crop screen. Me explaining things and like the stupidest concept. Me explaining the easiest stuff. And that landed me freelancing opportunities, job opportunities, clients will pay me $100, $150 an hour, okay? Um, you know, and then the worst part, this guy's comment, right, Tanner's comment, got six thumbs up. So there's like six other people who are thumb, thumbsing up that self-imposed limitation. Like, what the actual fuck, right? Why are you putting so many limitations on yourself? Why are you fighting and voting up for self-imposed limitations? Why are people encouraging that, okay? It's the same way where when somebody is overweight, it's okay to love yourself and love your body, okay? But if you have a disease, you have obesity, do not encourage that, right? You don't wanna encourage somebody else to have that lifestyle. One of the biggest diseases and problems in the United States of America is obesity, okay? So why would you encourage that to somebody, okay? You want them to feel a little bit of pressure to change, to be impatient and get the results faster. That same person can be fired up so much that in one year they can lose 200 pounds or that same person can take 10 years to lose 100 pounds or 10 pounds, okay? You don't wanna be that person, right? Most people in the world of li in life and in coding are those people who are like, we'll just patiently learn, we'll just patiently build projects and we'll just let the college teach us or let some kind of job opportunity come to us or teach us. That's it for my rant. I hope this inspires you to get off your ass, stop waiting for some kind of course, start doing shit, and as you need to learn it, you go out. Dude, like if you need to do a sorting algorithm, hit up software developers on LinkedIn and be like, yo, this is my thing I'm working on, help me, okay? I'm willing to learn, help me. If you reach out to people with that passion and fire, I promise you there's gonna be some unbelievable developer who'll be like, you know what, I'll teach you, man. I'll, or teach you, girl, or a woman, or you have two kids, full-time job, you're busy, I'll teach you for half an hour, an hour. It inspires me. But if you're gonna put self-imposed limitations, then six other fucking people are gonna come in, thumbs up that shit, pose more self-limitations, you're not gonna get very far in your career and your life. So that's my message for today. What my mission is that I hope that you see this and you go, okay, I'm gonna change something. You start following me on that co the challenge I'm doing. For the next 20 days, I'm gonna be making 20 more videos, probably even more than 20 videos, okay? But follow me on that journey. You can do coding for 20 days or more days. Start a 30-day coding challenge, okay? Follow me on Instagram so you can see behind the screens what I'm doing. Tag me, go like hashtag 30-day challenge, hashtag clever Kazi, okay? I will put that up for you so I can hold you accountable. Whatever it is for you, okay? You don't have to follow me on Instagram, you don't have to do any of that. But I'm saying, get off your ass, put in the work, don't have self-limitations, please. You have a lot more potential than you think, okay? And thank you for being on this channel, listening to my rant. Please comment and let me know what you think about this, okay? Where is your head at with this? Put it in the comments below. I'm very active nowadays, so I'll come in. I'll answer almost everybody's comments. And uh, other than that, all I wanna say is thank you so freaking much for being on this channel. I love your face, and as always, I'll see you in the next video.